Welcome everyone to HJ Global News, bringing you hopeful news of Chonil Guk. The Chonbo Festival, marking the eighth anniversary of Father's Holy Ascension, is continuing in various parts of the world, including in the Hyojong Chonwon area here in Korea. In this week's news, we have prepared a special segment on the Vision 2020 International Leadership Conference held as a part of the festival celebrating Father's anniversary and attended by leaders and experts representing many fields of endeavor from no less than 87 nations. We also have news from some very worthy efforts members are leading worldwide. 오늘날 이 나라의 정치인 지도자라고 하는 사람들은 하늘 섭리를 알아야 합니다. 하늘을 두려워할 줄 알아야 합니다. 여러분의 나라에서 최고의 정상 연합과 국회의원 연합을 통해서 하늘 부모님을 모시고 나아가는 길만이 인류의 미래가 있음을 당당하게 선포하십시오. At the celebrations for the eighth anniversary of our True Father's Holy Ascension, True Mother reminded us that the only hope for humanity is for us to live together in attendance of our Heavenly Parent. We are actually marking a 40-day period entitled the Chonbo Festival celebrating the eighth anniversary of True Father's Holy Ascension. The 2020 International Leadership Conference, or ILC, commemorating both Father's anniversary and the 15th anniversary of the founding of the Universal Peace Federation, has been held very successfully. The 2020 International Leadership Conference was held online to address and find solutions to the spread of COVID-19, with sessions held in the Asia-Pacific region, Europe and Africa region, and the Americas region, in keeping with local time differences. UPF Heavenly Korea President Moon Yona welcomed everyone to the Asia-Pacific Regional Conference and Women's Federation for World Peace International President Moon Hun Suk conveyed the heavenly will and vision on behalf of True Parents. The Asia-Pacific Union is based on common cultural values of the Asia-Pacific region, filial piety, family and faith and it will provide an opportunity for countries to come together to cooperate and to unite in order to resolve the global difficulties we all face together. Never before has it been more evident and clear that interdependence, mutual prosperity, and universal values as articulated in the founding vision of the Universal Peace Federation are no longer a choice but the only way forward if we want to overcome this pandemic and the many threats that we as a human race face today. In his opening address for the Americas Regional Conference, International UPF Chairman Dr. Thomas Walsh opened the discussion on how we might use the current crisis to make changes for the better. Our goal with this ILC 2020 is to explore our way forward. We will consider how we might turn tragic circumstances into opportunities, opportunities to correct some of our collective deformities and dysfunctions as humanity, such as extreme inequality, injustice, failures to take responsibility, corruption, disrespect for each other and for the environment. More than 250 VIP panelists from 87 nations, including current and former heads of state, parliamentary speakers and vice speakers, parliamentarians, ministers, religious leaders, journalists, economists and academics, came together under the theme, Opportunity and Hope in a Global Crisis, Interdependence, Mutual Prosperity and Universal Values. Beginning with the International Summit Council for Peace session, Ten sessions of experts were held to discuss different themes, including the role of women leaders and young people. Keynote presentations proposed ways by which each field can address the global crisis caused by the coronavirus pandemic. In this time when partisanship is rampant, 
global leaders and experts of every field responded to the demands of the times, coming together to discuss values that could create a unified response to the challenging circumstances. The following day, the celebrations for the 15th anniversary of the founding of the Universal Peace Federation shed new light on True Parents' legacy of achievements for peace in so many fields. The final presentation given by International Association of Youth and Students for Peace introduced the activities of the younger people of the Heavenly Parents' Holy Community to ease the pain of the world. For example, the recent volunteer work 1,200 youths from Heavenly Korea carried out to repair flood damage and the Pure Love campaign carried out in Thailand to promote ethics in sexuality, thus ending the conference on a very uplifting note. The Vision 2020 International Leadership Conference held in three regions over three days recorded 210,000 views and was widely noted among leaders and experts in many fields. The Asia-Pacific Regional Conference held in 10 languages was reported on by more than 1,500 reporters via diverse media platforms, including television, radio and the Internet. True Parents' vision for peace is increasingly touching the consciousness of global citizens in all parts of the world. Participants unanimously agreed that despite the coronavirus pandemic crisis, if we make Heavenly Parent and Universal Values our focus, we can nonetheless create opportunities to build for the future. With the announcement of the Vision 2020 ILC resolution, participants firmly resolved to exert their influence for good in their regions and nations. Celebrations for the 8th anniversary of True Father's Holy Ascension are making their mark in various parts of the world. On September 10th, a conference to clarify the heavenly unified Korea ideology was hosted in Hyojong Chonwon, Korea, as a part of the celebrations for the anniversary of Father's Ascension. It was attended by 120 or so leaders, including true family members, elders, international itinerary workers and leaders of our providential organizations. At the conference, which highlighted True Parents' God-centered ideology as the cornerstone of the heavenly unified Korea ideology, Dr. Jin Song Bae of the Hyojong Academic Foundation gave the keynote presentation. The heavenly unified Korea ideology, rooted in unification thought, systematically analyzes the political situation of the Korean Peninsula and our unification ideology for North and South Korea, thereby presenting a concrete direction toward the nation's reunification. Following the keynote presentation, five presentations were given in support of the Heavenly Unified Korea ideology, including Professor Moon Sang-hee's talk on the Absolute Sexual Ethics Revolution and Pure Love Movement, and Professor Sol Yong Soo's talk on the Inter-Korean General Election and Peaceful Unification. The conference provided a meaningful opportunity for the examination of the ideas forming the Heavenly Unified Korea ideology, which in turn sows seeds for the creation of forums by which to convey them to the general public and the nation's leaders. Uh, Chamomonikesotinanjuare, 새로운 하늘 나라인 신통일 한국의 기본적인 그 이론적 구축을 하게 되었습니다. 우리가 이 신통일 한국론을 하나의 무기로 삼아서 국민 교육에 본신의 힘을 다하도록 하겠습니다. The sixth Hyojong Miracle of Sound music concert was hosted as a part of the celebrations for the eighth anniversary of True Father's Holy Ascension. 
held with the aim of nurturing the growth of artistic talent within the Hyojong culture, the online event was participated in by seven teams who passed the preliminary rounds and performed original songs. The music concert also provided an opportunity for the viewers to participate in a real-time quiz and online voting. First place went to HJ Team with the song Every Sin Within Me. The hosts, Korea Family Federation and CARP, helped out the local churches by uploading all the participant songs onto YouTube and sharing the instrumentals and musical scores online. Women's Federation leaders have continued to carry out heartwarming projects for their neighbors and the world. Women's Federation for World Peace International President Moon Hun Suk and local WFWP members from Busan participated in repairing the damage caused by Typhoon Maiza. They also went out to pick up litter in order to raise awareness of the increased use of disposable products that constitute the larger part of litter in the sea and shoreline. Before doing so, they donated 7,500 masks to the residents of the area. Additionally, they visited homes damaged by heavy monsoon rains in five townships to give donations for repairs and carried out the 1% Love for Global Family campaign to donate 10,000 masks to Bolivia, where it is difficult to acquire masks. The ladies of the Women's Federation are thus continuing to share their love with the world. In heavenly Korea, the Hyojong Task Force has been working hard on a 40-day summer special project. In this time of reduced personal contact, Korea Carp's Hyojong Task Force is focusing on developing and spreading online content to teach young students and children about faith. A little while ago, the Hyojong Task Force opened a YouTube channel named Hyojong Heroes TV and uploaded more than 250 videos of worship services, testimonies of elders, singing and dancing lessons and hundok readings. As of August, it had recorded a total of 55,000 views and secured 2,300 subscribers, thereby helping out local churches by supplying online content. CARP also hosted the 2020 Online Peace Cup to create a platform for an eSports online community more than 2,200 people took part, about half of whom were second-generation students who are no longer active with the movement at present, but for whom a forum of communication has now been opened up. Moreover, the Hyojong Task Force developed new worship service and workshop content that are a combination of entertainment, testimony and curriculum activities. Over 40 days this summer, they held the visiting worship service and workshop that drew 607 people in 23 churches across Korea. The initiative was warmly received by Songhwa students and members of local churches who cannot right now attend worship services and workshops. At the same time, the International Association of Youth and Students for Peace carried out the Peace Designer Project to inspire change in local communities in 100 regions across Korea. In particular, the Study Room Without Borders, chosen to be a public project under the Ministry of the Interior and Safety, was opened in 10 regions for multicultural teenagers and young North Korean defectors who are sometimes at a disadvantage in their educational paths. More than 3,000 peace designers were urgently sent to 18 special disaster areas that suffered the most from the summer rains, where they worked hard to repair the damage and offered warm sympathy to the people who were hurting. They were met with warm welcomes in the local communities. Italian CARP and Women's Federation members visited the city of Padova, which had been under long-term lockdown due to COVID-19, to hold a concert of hope. The Italian members gifted the residents with gymnastic performances, instrumental music and songs, and appointed families that had led a life of service for their neighbours as ambassadors for peace. In this way, they offered much comfort to 150 or so of their nation's citizens. Sun Moon University's second semester has begun. The 200 theological students and cadets of Sun Moon UPA attended the True Parents Life and Ideology class led by Director General Yoon Yong Ho of the International Headquarters after True Mother appointed him as an adjunct professor of theology.
In his lecture, Dr. Yoon said that True Mother had told him, you should teach them about the providence and not just give them theory, and encourage the growth of the students who will take on the responsibility for the future of Chonil Gu. The coronavirus pandemic forces us to cover our faces and keep our distance from one another. Though it is a real crisis, it seems that many people are deeply reflecting about life and there are even signs that a new and better order may emerge from this time. As members of our movement, we deeply hope the human race will adopt the values that we know as interdependence, mutual prosperity and universal values in its quest to rediscover our true potential. The Heavenly Parents Holy Community seeks to bring about the day when the ideals of our Heavenly Parent and True Parents become the lifestyle and culture of all peoples. May God bless your efforts, wherever you are, to bring this to pass within True Mother's lifetime, within our lifetimes. This concludes this week's HJ Global News. Thank you for watching and may God bless you.